All right, hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Kramer Unstuck. Uh, you know, I want to talk about something today that's really been irritating me. Now, I think I said this before, I probably did. I'm a former Christian. I deconverted back in 2020 because uh, I actually started to look into all the complete bullshit that I kept hearing from other uh sources uh, telling uh, me that, uh, yeah, the Bible's got a lot of problems and uh, it, it's complete rubbish. Uh, sure, you can, uh, you know, get uh, morals and ethics out of it, but here's the thing, you can get morals and ethics from just learning what's good and what's not. But I want to talk about this concept of sin, okay? Now, according to uh, the Bible, uh, this, this God, and I don't know how many possible gods there were from in the, in the Old Testament. You have a, this God, and then you have what seems to be another God, and uh, the God in the beginning doesn't seem to know anything. He's not a omniscient God. Okay, he has to come down and he has to ask questions. He has to send uh, his messengers to go places to find shit out and then get back to him. Um, so, and then you, all of a sudden you seem to have other gods. A uh, God who says, I know everything. But, you know, the God in the uh, Genesis is, uh, uh, he creates man and woman and he has these two trees, and uh, we all know the story. The, the woman eats from the tree. She's deceived by the serpent, and then she gives it to her husband, and he eats it, and then they fall from the grace of God. And from what I understand, I don't know if it's all Jews, but I know that some Jews, maybe, maybe it is all Jews, doggone sinuses. Maybe it is all Jews. Uh, they don't believe in the concept of original sin. However, the evangelical fundamentalist uh, Christians that I was a part of, they do believe in original sin. And they believe that when you sin, you sin against God. That God gets hurt, butthurt, angry, vengeful. And you know, it would be like uh, you know, these tiny little bugs flying around and all. It, it's like, you know, they come in the screen and everything. But anyway, so God gets all butthurt, even though he created the mess. And, uh, you know, but, but you're the fault. Which to me, uh, when I was a Christian, yeah, I believed that. Now I don't. Okay, because the concept of sin is just is just fiction, and the God that you know apparently uh, created it would be he's acting like a victim. You know, I'm a uh, you know you're sinning against me. I have all these rules that I don't want you to do, and I I want you to follow these stupid rules and these. What is it? 613 purity laws? You know. So, and if you don't, and you break any of these, you sinned against me. So I need sacrifices. Including uh, an ultimate sacrifice. You know. But, you know, and... And the reason I'm making this, because I saw this video from this, I mean, God, what an extremely self-righteous human being this guy was. Talking about, you know, he's sitting there like this. You know, just kind of looking, you know, the attitude right there, you know, about, you know, I don't like these uh, weak men who have vices. Uh, 
you know? And I understand it. Don't get me wrong. I, I understand it. But, you know, I, I, I don't like it. You know, you, you have these vices and, you know, if you want to drink, yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, but, you know, it's sin. <laughs> it's sin. Being a smug, arrogant, self-righteous asswipe would be considered a sin, which is what you are. You know, so any Christians that are watching this, you know, I'm just going to let you know that there is no such thing as sin. That's you uh, in your mind. You believe that. Uh, are there good and bad things you can do? Yes. I, I, I kind of uh, I think about it this way. OK, you're driving down the road and the speed limit is 45, but you're doing 55 now. You're not driving reckless, you're not swerving, you're not spinning around, you're not going, you know, like this down the road and, and being a reckless ass. You have control of the car, and if you see another vehicle up ahead, you apply the brakes and slow down so you do not run into those people, okay? So you're driving safely, but... So, therefore, there's no victim here, okay? So, you're not committing a crime. However, that was weird. That was weird. I think the camera, uh, sometimes, uh, maybe the, I don't know what they call that, uh, but Sometimes my ceiling fan, you can see the ceiling, the, the blades, and then all of a sudden it'll kind of, I guess, uh, the camera speed and the blade speed kind of mesh, and you don't see it anymore. But anyway, but okay, you haven't committed a crime, but a cop stops you and gives you a ticket because all the cops are road pirates. So they're a bunch of uh, revenue-collecting jackasses because some... Uh, Asked why politicians decided to make laws. Yeah, I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not committing a crime. That's kind of how I see this whole sin concept. It's you're not committing a crime. If I decide I'm going to get beer, okay, on, on a Saturday, and I'm going to drink, say, 12 beer, and I'm going to get a damn good buzz, well, according to a Christian, you have sinned against God. Yeah, bullshit. God, just when I was a Christian, I believed this. And yeah, I had vice, and alcohol was my vice. So then I'd get to, I'd drink, and then I'd get to a point where I'd feel guilty and ask God for forgiveness. But I look at it this way. Um, the only person that you're hurting, if there is any harm being done, is right to you. If you're not going out and trying to force someone else to do it, then you're not committing any crime or any sin. But it, it, it was just the idea, the smug, arrogant self-righteousness of this piece of shit. And that's what you are if you're a Christian. I got no respect for you or your religion. You know, you're, you're, you're a virus. You're a plague. Any organized, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islam, whether it's Judaism, I despise all of you because all you are are a bunch of theocratic. That's what you want. You want a theocracy. All of them want a theocracy. Christians as well. Muslims and Jews, okay, if you're a Muslim, I either convert or I die. Okay, the Jews. You know, they believe they're God's chosen people, which they're not, okay? But they believe that all the Gentiles are going to be their slaves at some point when their Messiah comes. And my color people, they want to get rid of a lot of us. Well, the Christians will go, well, we're not like that. Now, 
I think both the Muslims have a concept of hell, and so do the Jews. The Jews' hell lasts for, what, 11 months? It's like, where the hell's that at? 11 months? But the Christians will go, well, we don't want, you know, to kill you and all that. Well, yeah, you do. Because one of the threats is, if you don't convert and believe in my Jesus, you're going to burn forever and ever and ever. And now some Christians will say, no, 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 no. That's just for the devil and his angels. Yeah, when I read the Bible, I didn't see that it was just for them. Uh, but, yeah, all of you want, all of you scumbag uh, organized religion losers want uh, theocracy and, you know, uh, justice, law and rule, uh, where you got to follow all these rules and these laws and shit like that. You know, you don't want freedom. You know, I, I believe in freedom, okay? I don't like the whole uh, alphabet people groups that are out there. But as long as they don't bother me, which would be, you know, trying to force it down my throat, I say, go ahead and do whatever you want, okay? Keep it in your yard. I'm going to do what I want, keep it in my yard, you know, but, you know, like I was saying, this, the, the, the whole, uh, you're sinning, no, you're not, no, you're not, you know, poor little guy, I'm a victim, look at what you're doing to me, when my son had to die, your son, if he had to die that way, and all that had to happen, was because of you, you fucking god, you idiot. I mean, you're the one who fucked it all up immediately. I mean, this didn't just take like, you know, a thousand, two thousand years. It's like immediately you're like, I'm going to fuck everything up. Yeah, but as a former Christian, I don't believe in any of that anymore. You know, but the, the, the Christians, uh, man, the self-righteousness, the virtue signaling, the pearl clutching. If you're male and you buy into this shit, you're not a man. You are not a man. You're a complete bitch. You know, and uh, it, as, as a former Christian, I want to try to convince these people, and it's tough. It's it's going to be tough. It's, it's really tough, because when you're brainwashed, Okay, when when you drank that Kool Aid and you're like, man, I love the Kool Aid, uh, it, it it's not easy. And I'm not looking for those. I'm looking uh, to convince the ones that are, you know, they're looking around and going, this just doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. You know, some of this shit in the Bible is just like, what? Why is this story different from that story? And that story doesn't jive with this story and. This here isn't what they s tell me it is. This is different uh, because it's bullshit. You're the ones I want to convince. Okay, the other ones, you know, they, they can, you know, I, I consider them to be a threat to our, like, Christians are not ever going to be patriots. They can pretend they are, but they are not told to be patriotic to their country. They have another country they're going to one day. That's uh, who they should be, uh, uh, you know, dedicated to. You, you know, you're, you're, you're supposed to follow your government, and whenever your government does something against your book, against whatever you believe is right, if your government, uh, you know, passes laws that are sinful, you don't go along with it, but you're not supposed to go fight your government. You're pretty much going to bend over and go, whatever you want to do to me. You know, I'll be a martyr. That's just bending over and taking it wherever you decide to uh, allow them to stick it. So, yeah. No, um, sin is not real. Okay, 
And Christians, uh, man, as a former Christian, what a pathetic bunch of people you are, especially you males out there that uh, are, are Christian. You're pathetic. You're not men. You're never going to be men. You're just a bunch of cucks. Okay? So, that's all I got right now. You know? And I'm sure, you know, if, you know, uh, there, there'll be Christians, you know, if they see this, you know, they'll uh, get all butt hurt and want to blah, 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 and probably call me a sinner. It's like, I just told you that, that uh, you know, I don't believe in it, okay? And uh, for the, those of you that are on the fence, that have seen, you know, problems with the religion, just look into it. Look into it. There's a lot of people. Bart Ehrman, they're former Christians that are come, have come out and said, yeah, it got to a point where I'm like, no, I don't believe this shit anymore. You know, and I said before, I believe in a God, a creator God, but he does not involve himself in your affairs. Maybe uh, sometimes because he does. I don't know, but he gives you what you need. And then you got to work with that. And you got to figure shit out. That's the best way to do it, because here's one of the things that uh, about Christianity. OK, prayer. Going to church, reading your Bible. You get dopamine rush, okay? It opens them receptors and you get that dopamine rush. You get that fix and it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like, well, I'm praying and God hears me. No, uh, you just feel good because of the dopamine. That's it. I mean, he don't hear you. You hear you, I mean, praying to the top of your fucking, in, in your head, and if you're praying out loud, the walls and everything like that, and they ain't going to help you. Yeah. But, anyway, I just, uh, I mean, just, just thinking of that smug, arrogant, self-righteous piece of shit, just trying to shame people. And that's what he was doing. You bad person, you know. Yeah, I'm looking over uh, out of the corner of my eye at you because you're bad. It's like, I'm, I'm like, what is this fucking guy? What? God, just think of the conversations he has with his fellow Christians. And, and I know that. I know it. If you went to church, if you say you, you deconverted, you know the total bullshit. Those people, those people. And if you're, I and mean, if you happen to fall, like they say, backslide, you know, well, you shouldn't do that. You know, God don't like that. You're hurting Jesus's feelings. <laughs> how can, how can I hurt the feelings of someone who was, who's been dead for almost 2000 years? How does that work? Because he died an insurrectionist. Okay. He was one sect of, uh, of the Jews that was against these sects of the Jews and they were against him. Okay. He was associated with the Essenes and I'm not going to get into the whole thing because there's a lot of shit. I forgot. I'd have to go back over that, but he was just an insurrectionist. They were against Rome and they were against the, uh, the religious, uh, uh, dictators they had over him too uh so you know that's all he was and then it, it was made into a a religion okay because you know the the greeks and the romans were never gonna you know maybe some decided to come over to judaism and do the whole circumcision and go through all that bullshit and I mean, good God, why do you want to follow all kind of stupid little rules? You know, you got to do this and you can't do that, blah, 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 you know. And most of them are not going to get circumcised. They are not going to follow them rules, okay? So you got to make a religion that's more palatable, palatable to these Gentiles, okay? So... You have a trinity, 
Well, that's similar to the Roman and Greek pantheon. They had multiple gods. Here you got three. They're one, but they're three. Okay? Dying and rising gods. They knew about that. They had these dying and rising gods. You know? So, well, Jesus Christ. All right? Don't have to get circumcised. You can get circumcised in your spirit. You don't have to follow all these laws because once you believe in this Jesus uh, character, uh, you don't have to follow him. You're, you're, you're made whole. Well, that works. Yeah, it, it's just, it's, you know, the whole thing is a bunch of shit. I mean, the concept of hell. Uh, came from uh, it was the Hellenistic Jews were around the Greeks down in Egypt and 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 in other areas of of Greece and uh, the Greeks had the concept of uh, of Tartarus and Hades and all that you know because when you look into uh, uh, the Old Testament death and hell are the grave. You know, there may be, a, like I said, uh, there may be a concept where you spend like 11 months until you, I guess, repent completely. I don't know how that works. But, yeah, it's just a shit show. It's another way, all right? And if you don't know much about the chosen people, you ought to look into them. I tell you, man, what a bunch of scumbags, okay? And they, like I said, they, they despise the Gentiles. They consider all Gentiles to be dogs and pigs and scum. So they want to take over and have us as their slaves. Uh, you know, and that that was another way by introducing their Christian religion for those who adopted that, that was another way to get us under their control. And look at all these evangelical Christians, okay? You know, you know, they're, they're pro-chosen people. You know, I used to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I don't pray for that anymore. You know, so I was duped, and I believed that they were good people. I actually believed that they didn't whine about shit. <laughs> oh, man. Since I deconverted, wow, have my eyes been opened, finally. You know, because what a bunch of babies and liars they are. So that, it was another, and that's the thing. When I, when I see guys like that talking their Christian bullshit and, and all that, and I'm thinking, man, you, you've been duped. These guys got you. But that's pretty much all I got right now. I mean, just decided to, you know, vent. Because I really wish I could figure out what I could say to these people to open their eyes to realize that they're under a delusion and an illusion and controlled and brainwashed. But with people like that, that's virtually impossible they're gonna have to get to a point where i don't know something smacks them upside the head and they go oh wait a minute yeah you know then maybe you know, you can make videos uh facing the camera and not sitting like a cocky smart ass dipshit you know, with yeah you people so that's all i got right now I don't know what I'm going to entitle this video, but yeah, it, there is no such thing as sin. You know, it, it, it's a concept that is only used to shame you and make you feel like what you're doing in your the privacy of your home, or maybe you're going out to a bar. Okay, drunk driving is bad. Okay, I had a DUI and a drunken disorderly. Uh, I do it at home when I do drink, you know, but 
So that's bad. But still, it isn't sin. You're committing a criminal act if you get drunk and get in your car and drive. Right there, you're a criminal. But, you know, to just shame you because you like drinking beer. And I've seen it where uh, um, on uh, there's a rabid atheist. I don't know if you ever saw that channel. But he had a, a post on Facebook that uh, some Christian posted that if you're, it was a number of things they were complaining about. And they said, if you drink, you're never going to get to heaven. Oh, tattoos as well. If you get tattooed, if you drink, you're never going to go to heaven. And it's a way of just, you know, I don't do all that. You do, and you're never going to get to heaven. It's like, well, you're never going to get to heaven either, because there is no such thing. What the hell's wrong with you? But, but anyway, that's all I got right now. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. And until next time, this is David Kramer and this is Kramer Unstuck.